Fourth, I'll talk about how to capture translucent images. Translucency is a pleasing visual effect, which can be used on plants to improve the feeling of vitality. Let's take a look at the leaves in the sunshine. Very beautiful, right? That is why we often want to photograph something translucent. Underneath a scanning setup, we have installed a 6500K light box. It emits strong light to illuminate translucent materials such as cloth, leaves, and petals. Here are a few things to consider. Firstly, what kind of background should we use? A white one or a black one? We suggest using a black background. For example, these leaves are placed on a white background. We can see the reflections on the white paper as the light shines on it. And since the leaves corrupt at the margin, the light will bounce up to the back of leaves, illuminate them from behind, and create some unwanted translucent areas. And that will lead to an incorrect albedo map. So we need a black background to block the bounce light. You need some special material, something that can block bounce light and allows light to go through. I'm using polarizing film here. Secondly, how to measure the light transmittance of various objects. Take leaves. They are various leaves. Some of them have a higher transmissivity than the others. You know, leaves can be dark gray, light gray, red, yellow, or sallow. And it can be thick or thin. How can we test the leaves' light transmittance? Let's look at the leaves here. The light yellow leaves allow better light transmission than the dark green ones. The thick leaves are of a lower transmissivity than the thin leaves. So, we need certain standards for photographing translucent things. Here is a quite simple way. We're using several sheets of white A4 paper. Just make sure the intensity of light on the first one is 